Can you build muscle with only calisthenics? While many debate this online, there's no doubt that bodyweight exercises can build muscle mass. Your muscles don't care whether you apply resistance with dumbbells, cables, or your body weight. With any of these methods, you can demand tension from them and provide a stimulus for muscle growth. However, there are some drawbacks to bodyweight training and reasons why bodybuilders mostly use weights. Firstly, many bodyweight exercises quickly become too easy. This is especially true for leg training. As we walk upstairs and stand from sitting regularly, we're well accustomed to lifting our body weight. As a result, it's hard to find challenging leg exercises that don't require additional resistance. While less of an issue, this also applies to upper body training. Many strong athletes can do well over 50 push-ups. In this case, the exercise provides a suboptimal stimulus for building muscle. Although there are plenty of push-up progressions available, many of these change the motor pattern of the exercise and therefore the muscles targeted. For example, you could progress to one-arm or planche push-ups, but these use more of an elbows-in pattern and don't work the pecs as much. In contrast, you could add weight to the bench press indefinitely and the movement would look the same. Another issue with calisthenics is that it can be hard to isolate muscles or movements. For example, if you want to isolate your middle delts, it's hard to find a suitable exercise. While you can still strengthen them with handstand push-ups or side plank raises, these involve other muscle groups. If your core or triceps fatigue first, it will limit how hard you can train your deltoids. With weights, you can isolate them with lateral raises and ensure the deltoids are challenged. You can also easily adjust which angle you want to challenge them most at. For example, if you want to maximally challenge the deltoids at 90 degrees of abduction, you could perform raises standing. If you want to challenge the initial part of the raise, you could perform them on your side or using a cable machine. If you want to isolate the triceps with weights, you could do this with your arms by your sides or in an overhead position. Another drawback to calisthenics is the gap between progressions. Quite often, one progression feels easy and the next feels nearly impossible. For example, many can hold the tuck planche for 30 seconds, but struggle to hold the advanced tuck for more than five. While there are ways to bridge the gap, these often require extra equipment. With weights, you generally don't get this as you can progress by adding load in small increments. Finally, many bodyweight exercises require a great deal of skill. For instance, handstand push-ups require considerable balance and coordination. If you've been training for years, you may have developed these attributes and have no problem controlling the movement. In this case, you can probably fatigue your muscles just as well with handstand push-ups as with the overhead press. However, many can't balance a handstand, let alone do freestanding push-ups. For this majority, the overhead press is a much more effective way to target the shoulders and triceps. It's also easier to scale the difficulty and objectively track strength gains. To highlight many of the drawbacks of pure bodyweight training, we can use the example of squats. If we progress by adding weight, we can do so in small increments and challenge ourselves indefinitely. If instead we progress to pistol squats, we effectively double the intensity as now only one leg lifts the same load. While there are easier options such as partial or assisted reps, these both have drawbacks. With partials, you sacrifice range. This means you don't challenge the quads at length, which can negatively affect muscle growth. With assisted reps, unless you have a pulley system, it's hard to objectively track progress or know how much weight your leg is taking. Beyond this, pistol squats demand much more balance than standard squats. While some think you're half as stable as on two legs, it's actually significantly less. This is because the base of support is reduced by more like 80% when you remove one foot as a result, people are often limited by balance with pistols rather than muscular fatigue. Even if you're proficient with the technique, there's a relatively low ceiling for difficulty. Many can do well over 30 bodyweight reps, and this will lack the intensity to optimize hypertrophy and strength gains. With a barbell, you could just add more weight to the bar and effectively challenge your muscles at any rep range you like. Despite the drawbacks to calisthenics, there are also many strengths. It's a great way to develop balance and motor control, you get to learn really impressive skills, and it requires minimal equipment. You also don't just have to choose one style of training and can combine modalities. For instance, you could do most of your training with calisthenics and use weights for lower body and isolation exercises. This way you can get the best of both worlds and address many of the drawbacks of pure bodyweight training. Personally, I do most of my training with my body weight, but incorporate some weighted calisthenics and barbell exercises. 
For my training programs, including my latest barbell and bodyweight program, check out the link in the description below.